Jones and the Stone R4 adventure here in the desert of Enumclaw. I'll be jumping out of this car, which is going 18 times the speed of light. If I do this wrong, I will break both of my legs and I'll be stranded in these deserts with nowhere to go. Here goes nothing! Crikey! First order of business as I'm stranded out here in the deserts of Enumclaw will be to find shelter. This is very important to do as it's almost nightfall. I need to find somewhere to rest and stay warm for the night. As you can see, this hole right here is an excellent place to spend the night. My only concern is that it's made out of sticker bushes and that might not be very comfortable to spend the night in. This third area that I found over here is almost perfect for a shelter. It provides plenty of protection from the elements like the wind and rain as I said before. It's pretty much an old log and I could just I could just lie down right here and it'd be perfect for staying overnight in the wilderness in the deserts of the Enumclaw area. As you can see, um, my shirt got a little bit dirty, but that's nothing to worry about, right? That's it. Crikey, what was that? I have reason to believe that there was an animal in my local area. I predict that it's probably a zebra, platypus, or a gorilla. I am in fear for my life right now. The best course of action would be to go to a local water source. I'm dying of dehydration. I need to make it out of here. For the first time, I, I think I might not make it. But I'll try. <laughs> Hello? Uh, I'm, I'm busy, Mom. Mom, no. I'll, I'll talk to you later, Mom. One of the most important aspects of survival is self-defense. That way, if you get jumped by a platypus or a bear, you can fight it off. Today, we're going to make a machete. First thing you need to do is grab a good straight piece of wood. Well, maybe not straight, but it's good nonetheless. Secondly, you need a rock. Put the stick down on the ground. Hit the stick a few times and until it's nice and flat and eventually you should have yourself a nice machete and you're ready to fight off any vicious platypus. I can sense I'm in enemy territory. This is Obviously a hostile area. I'm really scared right now. Oh no! So caught him! Magic ninja fire powder! Who's next, you blot in my bets?
I'm gonna have to make fire. It's really cold out here. So what I got right here is I got this little piece of wood and this bunch of tinder. Just give me a moment. It takes a while. I, what I do here is spin the stick. No, no, stop filming this. All right, as you can see, I made a beautiful fire. Uh, the only thing I might be worried about is this. My beautiful, high quality, naturally made fire attracts any nearby animals or anything like that. And that'd be very bad for business, you know? So uh, I think I'll, I think it's probably safe to just lie down here and just spend the night by my Beautiful, high quality, naturally made fire. Oh. All right, as you can see, a predator recently made a fresh kill sitting right there on the bridge. Just a dead animal sitting there, fresh meat, food for the taking. If I'm quick enough, I can run over, snag it up, run off before the predator comes back. I'm gonna go for it. Shorty! Shorty, stop the car! Shorty, stop the car! Okie dokie, Dr. Jones, hold on to your potatoes! You're so great, Dr. Jones. How do you get away so good? You even found this cave. Well, it's all thanks to you, Shorty. You've uh, you've been a good getaway driver, you know. And uh, I gotta say, you're, you're the best Shorty I've ever had. Thank you, Doctor Jones. Yeah. This burger is delicious. Well, if it didn't meet Dave Jones, biggest yellow belly ever crossed the Rio Grande. You took my germ, Jones. Well, if it isn't Tornado Ted, Shorty, go out in the car. I got a bone to pick with you. What in tarnation you doing in my treasure cave, boy? I'm calling you out to a jousting competition, ace. There goes eight more, baby! Group two skulls coming at you! God save the play! Good night, mate.